Ready for this? The hunt for a new Bayern Munich manager might finally be over because it looks like Vincent Company could be on his way to Munich. All right, do we like this, Ali Moreno? I mean, I'm indifferent to it. I, I say that much. Um, I'm not. I'm not over here jumping on one leg. If I'm Bayern Munich, excited because he just feels like we went through a whole carousel of coaches and nobody wanted to be a part of what we wanted to do. If I'm Bayern Munich, and so it feels like we have settled on Vincent Company, not necessarily picked Vincent Company, and that I think it's what must be stressful for Bayern Munich in that usually, historically, if they said, hey, we want you to coach Bayern Munich, people would be like, yeah, sure, yeah, super. Guess what? Didn't quite happen this time around. People are staying away from Bayern Munich. And now, again, they seem to have settled on Vincent Company. Is it going to work out? He's obviously going to have better players at Bayern Munich than he did at Burnley. I don't know that that translates into better results, but it should help. So let's give him a chance. Let's give him a chance and see what happens. How does it work out, Jürgen, in your opinion? Well, I don't know if this is already 100% or if it's just a speculation still. I don't know to, <laughs> to what level of uh, talks they, they are right now. Um, but it is the same discussion. It is, you know, does a certain type of a coach really fit into that specific environment that this club gives you? And we talked a lot about Bayern Munich throughout the season because it was obviously a very disappointing season for Bayern Munich that, you know, coaches in general struggle to go there and, and do it the right way because there are so many alpha animals within the club that you constantly, you know, have to defend your, your way of doing it. And, uh, and it grinds you and it, uh, uh, it, is, it is a tough role because it's, it's such a successful club over the decades uh, led by incredible people over the past that, you know, no matter what you do, they can always say, that we don't like this or we don't like that. Um, so if Vincent Company ends up there to be the new manager at Bayern, um, if that's the case, then he will find out. He will find out uh, uh, in the first couple of months if he really fits that culture, fits that way of uh, doing things and, and uh, fits that specific place. But you cannot say at all, you know, before he's not going there, if he will do well or not. Uh, because that's just, it's just purely speculation. Jürgen, let me ask you something. Because the only way I can get my head around a Vincent Company going to Bayern Munich would have to be data, analytics, heat maps, the way his teams play. Because it's got nothing to do with success, because he's never had any success as a manager. I mean, the Bayern... The Bayern I Getting mean, promoted from they, the championships. Are they, are, are they a team that, that would look at all that and, and actually take a manager because of analytics and data? Because it can't be anything else. Well, I don't think so that Bayern is the club that, that relies heavily on data. Um, I, I very much doubt so. I think they utilize data. Absolutely, they do in analyzing their opponents, also the, the growth of their own uh, players, their team, and, and in all sorts of ways. Because it's just now part of of your working environment, you know, as every manager has to deal with that topic and has to learn about that topic. And, and obviously younger coaches are much more easier in, in dealing with all that technology and, and now AI comes in, in the whole game as well. But uh, at the end of the day, at Bayern Munich, well, there are football people deciding what it, happens. And, and it's, so it's company amazing, makes no amazing sense Not so from a football point. It is certainly it is certainly not a data related uh, decision if they would if they would take Vincent. God. You guys, it's a lot more simple than all of this. Come on, who's man. Bayern's most successful coach in the last twenty years or fifteen years? It's Pep Guardiola. Who worked with Pep Guardiola as a player? Who does Pep big up whenever he talks about Vincent uh, 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 about this guy? It's Vincent Company. He got promoted with Burnley. He showed that he could actually play really, really at attractive attacking football and aggressive football and the press and play out from the back and all this stuff. He tried to do it in the Premier League with a tiny budget and it blew up in his face and it didn't work out, but he stuck to his ideas. He presents himself really, really well. He's a tremendous interviewer. He's a political animal. We saw that uh, in his time after he left and he went to Anderlecht. I think they're simply in a situation where having had all these no's from big name coaches, they said, you know what? Maybe we roll the dice. 
maybe let's at least go talk to this guy. They talk to him. They're blown away because anybody who's spent time with Vincent Company and, and I had, and I've had the privilege of it, gets blown away. They look at Burnley going down and they say, well, they were actually, they've had injuries and, and, and whatever else, but they also basically had a teeny tiny budget. Uh, and that's why they went down. Let's give him a shot. And if he tells them what they want to hear in the interview, then that's how you get a job. There's no point sitting around and waiting and, you know, getting a whole other bunch of humiliating no's. They went for the guy who they were pretty sure was going to say yes. And that's how they end up with Vincent Company. And he has Pep's blessing as well. So there you go. That's how it is. <laughs> well, that was obvious. I should have. I can't yeah, believe I never thought that. of that. Well, the thing is, is Gab <laughs> has had Vincent Company <laughs> in an interview himself. As he mentioned, he's been in his company. And you can see more interviews with like company? that. On the Gab oh. and Jill's podcast. Uh, oh, yeah, that... he's in great company. <laughs> yeah, <with that's> great. <laughs> yes, Gab and Jill's podcast drops twice a week. The most recent edition will drop on Thursday. And you get top-tier interviews as well as some of the big rumours and the talking points as well. Okay.